Hey, it's Thomas Garth Levin with part two of my new Animal Crossing New Horizons island tour. So this is my island of Letheria. I'll just show the overall layout. So I already showed the whole left half here, or most of the left half, the central area, the entire central area, and then the top left corner. So today I'll be showing the right half of it and the central north area. So once again, the Azura Shrine, just going over that a bit. And I forgot to mention in the previous well, part one of the island tour that I have a link to this full drawing here. It was a piece of an art trade that my friend made with me. So I'll link to the full drawing in the description. All right, so now getting over to the residential district. So this is styled after a Japanese suburb. That will eventually be Raymond's house. Who knows how long it'll take, but one day that'll be Raymond's house. Sign for Fonset Residential District. So the little signs around my island I've made myself, but the streets, pretty much every other pattern besides just these Little signs is someone else's patterns. So I tried to have flower arrangements that match the colors of the houses. Have this here for crafting fish bait so that I don't have to go far from the beach where I collect the clams. I have it so that almost all clam spawns are on this one side of the island here since I covered up the sand on all the other beaches. A little picnic area. Pool for the residential district. Over here is my hot spring. It's going to look a lot better during Sakura season again once that comes around next year. Though I'm not sure how the trees will look in fall and winter yet. So might look good in fall and winter also. But definitely going to look best in Sakura season. So I'll go into the bamboo forest in a minute. So up here is a little forest park. Bamboo forest. And that leads into what was designed as a Sakura forest, but Sakura season did not last long enough. So now it's just a regular forest with lots of petals on the ground. And up here is Pekaway's house, because it was really fitting to put her house up here. Everyone else gets put in the residential district, and Pekaway gets up here. And... 
another power station. I'm considering, I'm not sure if it'll fit, but I'm considering making a second account for more pattern storage. And if I do, I want to put the house over here where it's out of the way. And nothing to see on this beach here. It's basically just for clam spawns. So no stairs up here because I'm at the limit on inclines already, but not really much to see. This was just mildly based on the... I just forgot the name, but the park overlook area in Colony 9 of Xenoblade 1. Not complete replica of it, but just mildly inspired by it. Since I needed something to put up there. So here is the main forest area, well, pine forest area, I guess. And that's the path to Red's Beach. So here is a little shrine slash fairy pond. Campsite is over here since it seemed fitting to put it in the woods. And then there's a sort of secret path leading between here and the Village Guardian landmark that I showed in part one of the island tour. So the only reason for that really is just to make it more convenient to move around since I have the stairs over here. So didn't want to restrict it to just one entrance to the forest over there, so I just connected them a bit. Then here is the gardens. Right now these blue flowers are just here as filler. Eventually they'll be replaced by blue roses as I get more blue roses. Over here is the one cloning area that's left. The rest are just arrangements, and this is a filler flower until I put something better there. Not sure where I'm going to put there yet, though. Then this is a flower field that's eventually going to be filled with just purple hyacinth, or at least I'm going to replace all the red with purple hyacinth, because it's going to look a lot better than this what I have now. This was basically just an area to put all my original wildflowers in. And then I just started throwing some other extra flowers in there. So eventually going to get rid of all the at least red flowers in here and replace them with purple hyacinth. So I've got two purple hyacinth over here that are in the process of cloning. It's definitely going to take a while to fill this whole area up. And then here's the orchards. I'll just run to the bottom first and show them. So fruit orchards here. So I have tons of peaches because that was my sister fruit that I found on an island, a mystery island. So I got tons of peaches and filled most of my orchard with peaches. Also, these are a bit asymmetrical right now because I've recently been moving around some of these trees and didn't get to rem didn't get to moving the last rows over here yet. So that needs to be removed. This one, then these get moved. Actually, just basically each of these needs to get moved one space to the left. I think that's everything to show on my island. I don't think I missed anything. This is where money trees are growing right now. So yeah, I think that's 
the whole island between these two videos. Couple spots that are still works in progress. And eventually I'll have a nighttime island tour where I show everything how it looks at night along with the new additions that need to be finished by then. So my favorite area on the whole island is probably the residential district here. Particularly this main, the middle street of it. Fortunately, did not have enough space for a sidewalk on the last part of it. And, well, I mean, I could make space, but it require moving literally everything on this whole side of the island up one space. That would be a massive, massive project that would take at least two weeks. So, just not feeling like doing that. And I'll have a separate house tour eventually. So, yeah, I think that was everything on the island. Don't think I missed anything between these two videos. So, see you next time!